The business generates revenue by creating value for its target consumers, so getting user feedback is the best way to improve your product. Addressing concerns, improving user experience, and creating more efficient products is what drives the sales. Aggregating and interpreting data are essential steps to uncovering those concerns or demands and finding adequate solutions. To that end, we will focus on the topic of data interpretation and communication in business decision-making. Let us first discuss the definition of data and interpretation. Data is based on facts and figures collected for reference or analysis. Data is usually formatted in a specific way, and it can exist in many types of forms, such as numbers, text, etc. which helps us compare data into an organized format. An interpretation is the act of explaining, reframing or otherwise showing your own understanding of something. Data interpretation is the process where analyzed data or cleansed data is viewed through a frame that can assign meaning to that data and allow us to draw relevant or meaningful conclusions. Data interpretation is conducted in four steps. First is to organizing or assembling the information you need, like bar graphs and pie charts. Next is to develop findings or isolate the most relevant inputs. Then, develop conclusions like our approach is not working or this turn out to be a better strategy, etc. And the last step is to come up with recommendations or actionable solutions. Now, we have discussed how to interpret the data, it is important to know how to effectively communicate the gathered information. Let's start with understanding what business communication is. Effective business communication is how employees and management interact to reach organizational goals. Its purpose is to improve organizational practices and reduce errors. The effectiveness of a data communication system depends on four fundamental characteristics. Delivery, accuracy, timeliness, and jitter. 1. Delivery The system must deliver data to the correct destination. Data must be received by the intended device. 2. Accuracy The system must deliver the data accurately. Data that have been altered in transmission and left uncorrected are unusable. 3. Timeliness The system must deliver data in a timely manner. Data delivered late are useless. In the case of video and audio, timely delivery means delivering data as they are produced in the same order that they are produced and without significant delay. This kind of delivery is called real-time transmission. 4. Jitter refers to the variation in the packet arrival time. It is the uneven delay in the delivery of audio or video packets. There's something breathtaking about witnessing data communicated well. When data is communicated well, it's easy to appreciate both the data itself and the delivery of that data at the same time. Those two elements can be fashioned together into an overall experience that makes you feel that you want to do something with your newfound understanding. How your organization can use data to make decisions on how to grow your business. For example, you can use data to find out. Finance. What's the most cost-effective way to hire new staff or the cheapest way to promote a new product? Growth. What activities can you do to prevent churn? How do you improve customer loyalty? Are the new features you're planning likely to impact your business goals? Marketing and sales. Which advertising channel gets the best ROI? Which sales activities generate the most leads? Customer service. What's the most cost-effective way to handle support tickets? Which channels improve response times? Before you analyze your company's dashboard, it's best to start with a plan of action that details how you'll find the data you need and, more importantly, interpret the data to make the right business decisions. Here's a five-step process you can use to get started with data-driven decisions. First is to look at your objectives and prioritize. Next is to find a relevant data. Third is to draw conclusions. Fourth is to plan your business strategy. And last is to measure success and repeat. One, look at your objectives and prioritize. Any decision you make needs to start with your business goals at the core. So start by asking yourself, 
What goals do you want to improve? Begin with the most important when you are making decisions. 2. Find and present relevant data. Once you have identified the problem you want to solve and the decision you're going to make, it's time to find and present relevant data. It's important to stress that the word relevant is key here. You don't want to spend hours analyzing data that won't have any impact on your final decision. So, keep the data relevant and only collect the data that relates to your objective. You can find relevant data in sources such as Website analytics CRM software Business intelligence platforms Social listening tools And feedback from customers the last point is especially important as 60% of companies say that using customer feedback as part of their decision-making process has contributed to their most successful projects. 3. Draw conclusions from that data. Take a look at the historical data you've collected and try to identify patterns or trends. If we use the reduced churn example from above, you might consider rewriting your onboarding email sequence to see if this improvement will dramatically impact your churn rate. For data-driven decision-making organizations, this means looking at their historical data to see if there's any indication that a rewrite would perform well. 4. Plan your strategy. You found the goal you want to improve and analyze the data to make a decision on whether you're going ahead with a new strategy. Next, you'll need to create a plan of action to put your decision into practice. The key at this stage is to make clearly defined goals on what needs to be done and when, by whom why you're doing it, and what is the outcome you expect, rather than creating vague goals that need to be done before the end of the year. For example, you might use data to conclude that a rewards program will help with customer loyalty. In this case, your clearly defined goal would look something like this. 5. Measure success and repeat. Your decision has been made and the results are in, well done. But that doesn't mean your decision-making process is over. Look at the data you originally collected and based on your initial decision on. Then, once the deadline for your goal arrives, compare the historical data with the new data you have collected and ask yourself. Did your data-driven decision have a positive growth impact on your business? If your decision was successful, congratulations. But if it wasn't, that's okay. Sure, your decision might not have had an immediate impact, but at least now you know what doesn't work. And sometimes, that's equally as important as knowing what does work.